Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we'll be talking about what's new in iOS 9.3 Beta 2. Today's iOS 9.3 Beta 2 comes exactly two weeks following the initial release of iOS 9.3 Beta 1 to all registered developers. So let's go ahead and talk about what changed. The first change you'll be able to find is actually in Control Center. There's a new toggle here, which is really exciting. This is the first new toggle that we've seen since Control Center was introduced back with iOS 7. Tapping on this will give us two options to enable night shift mode. We can either turn it on for now or turn it on until tomorrow. And I don't know exactly what time it'll shut off if you enable it on until tomorrow, maybe like sunrise or 6 a.m. I have no idea, but it's pretty cool. I'm excited for this toggle because it's one of the bigger changes we've seen to Control Center, and hopefully more toggles will be added in the future, but right now, we'll have to be happy with a Night Shift toggle. Speaking of Night Shift, if we head over to Settings and tap on the Display and Brightness Preference panel, there's a whole new area dedicated strictly to Night Shift. So if we tap here now, we have similar options to last time, we can still schedule it and enable it manually, and even adjust the color temperature right from here. While we're still in the settings app, if we navigate back a few pages and then scroll down until we see privacy, there's a new preference panel here titled Media Library that looks like it'll show apps that request access to any of your music or voice memos, stuff like that. And the final new toggle added in the settings app in this beta is actually found under Music. If we tap on this, there's a new toggle titled Add Playlist Songs to My Music. So basically, if you add a playlist, like say an Apple curated one, it's going to automatically add all those songs to your music library where it didn't do that before. I'm not really sure how I feel about this option just yet because I feel like that could get kind of annoying. So I'm glad that you can turn that off if you don't want it. Moving home to, well, the home screen, two apps were tweaked when it comes to their 3D touch quick actions in iOS 9.3 beta 2. Now, first off, tips actually gain shortcuts which in all honesty is one application that I feel like 3D Touch wouldn't make sense on, but nonetheless, we've got quick actions here in iOS 9.3 Beta 2. And moving on to the settings app, we actually lost a quick action. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and their battery preference panels can still be accessed, but you can no longer set a wallpaper by 3D touching on the settings app icon. Why that's gone is beyond me, but it's just missing in this beta. I'm really hoping that one comes back. So as of right now, those are pretty much all of the currently discovered changes found in iOS 9.3 Beta 2. However, if new changes are discovered, I will be sure to update the blog post in the description, so be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed watching this video, you are more than welcome to click that like button, and more importantly, subscribe so you're always up to date on the latest iOS news. This has been Sam with iDataOS. I hope you guys had a fantastic day as always, and I'll talk to you in the next one.